Alors, pour mes euh, collègues du, euh, du Québec, des conseils scolaires francophones, bienvenue. Les sessions hier, aujourd'hui, demain, c'est certainement c'est en anglais, mais tous nos programmes, toutes nos campagnes. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here at our 17th annual CLC. So, congratulations and thank you. Yeah, a few hands. Yeah, we saw that in the, the audience. But it's a terrific opportunity for us to get together as a community in the education space to network, to share stories, to challenge each other, to challenge Microsoft and for us to challenge yourselves and for each other to interact because we're all here in the best interests of education. Uh, we are super fortunate to have two individuals here with us today. Okay. So it's Chuggy comes up, let's hear it for her. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set this you excited? Yeah. Awesome. I'm going, to, I'm going to set this up in the sense of, uh, how old are you, Shagan? 15 years old. Okay. So Shagan's 15, and uh, is this something that you were mandated by your teachers to do? No. Okay. It was something that you just kind of wanted to do. All right. Cool. And how long have you been involved in this computer vision and AI stuff? About three or four months. About three or four months. I don't think your mic's on, by the way. Uh, so shagan has been doing this for about three or four months. Uh, I'd like for each of you who's in, who are in technology, and if you're a little bit concerned about what does machine learning and AI mean to me, you already have a deep background. Take a look at what Shuggin has done in three to four months of personal study. Go ahead, Shuggin. In our world today, we use human vision to do almost every task from driving a car to analyzing security footage. But what if I told you that even with 2020 vision, we still miss millions of key occurrences and key objects that occur in our world today? Now what if I told you we could actually enhance our vision and actually enhance our vision to identify these key objects and key occurrences that happens in our world today? And what if I told you we could enhance our vision by something that's not human? This is computer vision. Computer vision is a subfield of artificial intelligence that gives the ability for a machine or a computer to actually have human-like vision. So it gives it the ability for a machine to identify the objects in the surroundings, understand what they are, and extract key data points from this. This is huge, especially because computer vision is actually able to surpass human-like vision. This gives it the potential for this technology to be integrated within a number of different industries and revolutionize certain tasks that are automated and powered by human vision. And an example is self-driving cars. Self-driving cars actually use computer vision technology to be able to move in its environment autonomously, as computer vision gives the ability for a self-driving car to identify the objects in the surroundings, understand what they are, understand where they are located, and move in a safe way around them. This is huge, especially because 90% of road accidents actually occur from human error and unnoticed objects in our human vision. Self-driving cars integrated with computer vision can actually eliminate this possibility. And if you think self-driving cars is cool, companies like K Kitty Hawk and even Uber are working on self-flying cars and self-flying autonomous vehicles. This is huge because it's actually projected by 2050 60% of our world's population will actually move to urban areas. This creates an exponential increase in road traffic and road traffic congestion in our roads today. Imagine waking up and going on your Uber app to book a self-flying car ride as a means of daily transportation to get to your work. This can actually be a reality with computer vision. Now another application that I'm personally extremely passionate about is computer vision integrated within healthcare. Researchers actually created a computer vision algorithm to accurately identify breast cancer in the slide images of a patient's uh, tissues. And what's so amazing was that this computer vision algorithm was actually able to output an accuracy of 89% compared to the only 73% of a trained human pathologist. This is insane. Not only was the computer vision algorithm able to outperform the trained human pathologist, but it was able to output these results faster than the trained human pathologist. 
Computer vision, integrated within healthcare, can save millions of lives and aid doctors from, helping, from saving lives from late diagnosis and inaccurate diagnosis. But now the question is, how does this actually work? How is a machine able to identify objects in the surroundings, understand what they are, and make decisions? And what I found out is that it's actually able to do this the same way our human brain is able to identify objects and classify them. The way our brain classifies objects is it actually takes specific key factors from these objects, extracts them, and understands what they are. So in the future, it can classify that this object, that this hand in front of my view, is actually a hand. And the computer actually does this with computer vision through something called a convolutional neural network. And you can think of a convolutional neural network as the brain of a computer system. So essentially, if you want to train a machine to identify images of cars, you would train the convolutional neural network on multiple images of cars, and through the convolutional neural network, it extracts specific key features from this car in order to classify it for the future. So I actually programmed and created my own convolutional neural network to identify between images of cats and dogs. So I trained this convolutional neural network on multiple different images of cats and dogs, and through the convolutional neural network, extracted key specific features from the images of cats and the images of dogs. So then when I actually tested this algorithm, and I inputted an image of a new, of a new image of a dog that the convolutional neural network had never seen before, it actually accurately predicted that this image was in fact a dog. Another, another subfield of computer vision is object detection. Object detection not only allows the computer to identify what the image is, but allows the computer to understand where this image is located in the computer's surroundings. And this is huge, especially for something, as I mentioned before, self-driving cars. So an example of an object detection algorithm is YOLO. And this stands for you only look once, not you only live once. <laughs> and it's a real-time object detection algorithm. And I actually trained it on a video of myself and my surroundings. So this object detection algorithm can actually accurately identify at an extremely fast pace the image of myself and my surroundings, which is insane. And as you can see, it's able to even identify minuscule details that would go unnoticed by our human eye. Yeah, I'll just like, wait for this video to run. <laughs> And then there's me. <laughs> Another application of computer vision, which can actually have huge impact, is computer vision integrated within security and our surveillance cameras. We can train an object detection algorithm to actually identify dangerous objects and suspicious movements from humans and implement them in surveillance systems where it can actually identify at an extremely fast pace these objects and these people and send an alert instantaneously to authorities. Another application that I'm super excited about and that's actually occurring in our world today is mixed reality. Mixed reality is powered by computer vision as it bridges together the world of the virtual world and our real world as it's able to superimpose virtual objects and holograms into our real life surroundings. And the only way it's able to do this is through computer vision. As to the AR devices, it actually, the computer vision makes the AR devices understand what the world around it is and able to superimpose these virtual objects in the right places. And this is making huge impact in a number of different fields, especially healthcare, as physicians are actually using AR devices and holograms to actually do complex surgeries before they actually occur. So two key takeaways from my presentation today is number one, Computer vision is currently making huge impacts in our world today, as we currently see through self-driving cars. And the second key takeaway is that computer vision has the potential to be integrated within a number of different industries, such as healthcare and security, and basically everything, because it actually enhances our current human vision and provides insights to these tasks and creates certain data points. Our future is bright, but with computer vision, it can be even brighter. Thank you. Maybe just give that one click. There we go. Not bad, hey? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Let's not be bounded by let's not be bounded by convention. I think that I think that idea of 
us defining what we think our children should learn and what the capability of our children is to learn are two very, very different things exemplified by those two individuals. So as I mentioned, at the front end of both Hana and Shogun, when we look at what they've done and what they just demonstrated, that was all self-learning. They sought out the resources and they learned. Not every child's going to do that. And there's a combination here of great students plus exceptional teachers plus technology really driving innovation. And that's why we are so invested in the space and why each of you is here over the next two days.